Let's just go over a few um, announcements before we begin worship this morning. You can see that the poinsettias arrive and they are given in honor and in memory by many of our congregation. There's an insert in your bulletin that lists um, the dedications. And we are grateful for the beauty of the flowers for our Christmas celebration. We got these from Frank's up in Indiana and I think they did an awesome job. They really look nice. Our Christmas Eve service will begin this evening at 7 p.m. We will celebrate the Lord's Supper and have candlelight. Everybody is welcome. Next week, our office hours will be abbreviated um, for the Christmas holiday. Jill and I plan for sure to be here on Wednesday, but um, please call me before you stop because I don't know what other hours I'm going to have. But those are Jill's hours. So if you need something from her, that's when she's going to be here. The other announcements are in um, under the calendar. Are there any announcements that need to be made from the floor? Yes, Mr. Um, I have a big voice, Terry says. On, on behalf of the session and the congregation, um, We'd like to thank a few people who go above and beyond to help the church throughout the year and offer just a little Christmas bonus. I'm going to call out their names so they could come forward and we can recognize them as a church. I would appreciate it. Thank you. First is Pastor Terry. You want to take Jill's too? There's Jill's. Uh, Donna Shrove. Rick, there's yours. Thank you very much, sir. Matt. Walk up here, buddy. Laura, Laura, Sue, and Tyler. Where's Tyler? Tyler's here. When we get one, it's really um, special. And so they say, we want to thank everyone who helped and made this Christmas possible. I cannot put into words how grateful we are. It has been a very hard year for us. May God bless everyone this year. And that's from the Lady family. So thank you for reaching out. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for using your blessings to bless someone else. It's a special thing. Any other announcements today? Okay, then would you please join me in the call to worship as we find it in the bulletin or on the screen. <laughs> Leave your darkness at the door. It is a time of celebrating. The flame of compassion. The bud of peace. The we are finished with waiting. <laughs> All season we have been um, bringing in the season of light with the lighting of the Advent candles. Today we light four candles. The first three in the Advent wreath are those of hope, peace, and joy. And now today we will light the fourth, and this is the candle of love. Jesus demonstrated self-giving love in his ministry as the Good Shepherd. Advent is a time for kindness, for thinking of others. It fits right in with the thank you part that we got and for sharing. It's a time to love as God loved us by giving us his most precious gift. As God is love, 
let us be loved also. In the book of Deuteronomy, we find these words. For the Lord your God is a God of gods and Lord of lords. The great God, mighty and awesome, who is not partial and takes no bribe, who executes judgment or justice for the orphan and the widow, and who loves strangers, providing them food and clothing. You shall also love strangers, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. And then from the New Testament, in the book of John, I give you a new commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. You shall also love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. Would you please join me in the unison prayer as you find it in your bulletin or on the screen. Let us pray together. Teach us to love, O oh Lord. May we always remember to put you first as we follow Christ's footsteps so that we may know your love and show it in our lives. As we prepare for our celebration of Jesus' birth, also fill our hearts with love for the world, that all may know your love and the one whom you have sent, your Son, our Savior. Amen. We're, we're going to sing our first hymn for this morning. I know the bulletin says just one verse, but Jill and I got our wires crossed, so we're going to be singing three verses. They're on the screen, or you can find it on page 41 in the hymnal, if you would rather use a hymnal. Please stand as you are able.
We confess, though, that we get off track. We are dazzled by shining lights and beautifully decorated trees that fail to be your light to a hurrying world. We run from one holiday event to the next, yet fail to stop and be a good Samaritan to those who need food and shelter. We sing Christmas carols at every opportunity, yet fail to share the good news of your love to those for whom the holidays bring depression, grief, loneliness, and despair. Forgive us, we pray. Restore to us a joy in the Savior, in the simple, and in being in your presence as a redeemed children of God. We pray in Jesus' name. God so loved the world that Jesus, God's only Son, came into the world to redeem everyone who believes. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 